My father never set out to be a marathon runner. The way I was told it, 30 some years ago, my mother and my aunt decided they would go on a jog to get in shape. They invited my father, and together they all set out on their first run. My mother and aunt made it around the block, but Larry kept running. Five miles a day, four days a week. Rain, shine, summer heat, didn't matter. He completed three marathons in his life. In March 2008, Larry was diagnosed with stage four terminal lung cancer. It had already spread to his bones and liver. It was difficult to understand. My father had always been healthy. He had never smoked. He was a marathon runner, for God's sake. The origin of the marathon is a story more than 2,500 years old. According to legend, Pheidippides ran the distance between Marathon and Athens to deliver an important message that the Persians had been defeated in battle. Then, his message delivered, he promptly dropped dead. Larry wasn't interested in the end of that story. He endured countless rounds of chemotherapy, radiation, and experimental drug treatments. He never complained about any of it. He kept running, of course. My family began fundraising for lung cancer research the year my father was diagnosed. First, it was just my father and my mother. By the second year, when the pain was too much and Larry had had to give up running altogether, I'm sure he was grateful that there was a team around him ready to pick up where he had left off. We called ourselves Lungs for Larry. On November 5th, 2010, my father passed away. He was 56 years old. And though he lived long enough to see and experience much joy, all I think about are the things he has missed. In October of 2012, I completed my first marathon. But this story isn't about me, and it certainly isn't about an ancient Greek legend. I did run with a message, though. I ran my 26.2 miles to raise money for cancer research. I ran for my father. This year, the Lungs for Larry team will be participating in Run for Life, a 5K race that partners with the Greenville Health System Cancer Institute and the Cancer Society of Greenville County. I'll be there, wearing my father's old running clothes, and I'll be with my family and our friends. We'll be running for Larry, and for everyone whose life has been cut short by cancer. We hope that you'll join us.